Hey everybody, it is Monday, July 11th, 2022. It's Miracle Monday, Manifestation Monday, Make Shit Happen Monday. My Sorry, I was just doing a prayer really quickly for myself and the spirits that I serve. Again, we're going to be doing the card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours. It's directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not to push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and you can connect whatever you want because that's none of my business. With that being said, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition. Not everyone listens to it, as you can see the state of the world. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyright, and registered with the United States government in three different classifications with the trademark and patents office. Any duplication of my content is subject to legal issues, um, prosecution, as guided by my legal team. Do not forget that please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please do not forget that I do not solicit in any way, shape, or form through direct messages or through any apps such as Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, none of that. All of my social media handles are on my website, thealmightypineapple.com, or believe it or not, readingsbyvida.com. I have both of those domains. So even if you can't remember the name of my company, The Almighty Pineapple, it's readingsbyvida.com. You will see those social media handles, the YouTube channel, The Almighty Pineapple LLC, TikTok, Readings by Vida. Again, Instagram, Readings by Vida, Twitter, Readings by Vida, and so on and so forth. So again, we already have a card, as you can see, it already flipped out. But I want to remind you that on... The 13th, which is Wednesday, we have the Full Moon and Capricorn Community Ritual. It's free from all the members of I Am The Altar. So if you're part of the membership, you're automatically included. If you'd like to know more about the membership, please send us an email or check out the membership page on the website, thealmightypineapple.com or readingsbyvida.com. So we have that going on. We have the community reading on the 23rd of August coming on. So we have so much stuff going on. And in the last week of July, I'm going to be traveling. We're going to be doing the rebirth retreat. So I'm really excited for this. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so good. So with that being said, let's get to the card of the day. It's coming from my favorite deck, the Adinkra Ancestral Guidance Card by Simone Brezzi Ando, who's no longer with us, who passed away in 2021. She's with the Ancestral Realm. I love you. I miss you always. So the card of the day is called Odor Nira Fi. Queen A. Love does not miss its way home. Those led by love will never lose their way. And I've had about four clients already this morning. It's about four, four, -ish after, four, 4 p.m. around my time on Eastern Standard Time. And I keep telling everybody to check in with their heart space today. And the fact that this car came out, again, check in with your heart space. Check in with that space. Check in with the love in your life, the love that you carry for yourself in your life. And again, that reminds me, the Love Thyself program is coming up in September. So enrollment starts at the end of this month. So on July 31st, I will have the Love Thyself package open, available for the public. I'm only taking seven new clients. So with the Love Thyself program it is a 12-week program where I work with you one-on-one -on -one for three months, enhancing the most important relationship of your life yourself it'll teach you how to love the shit out of yourself so you're going to attract all the things that you want because you're worthy because you exist so if you're interested the details are on the website thealmightypineapple.com or readingsbyvida.com or send us an email you know through the website i also have an email ask uh, email address on the instagram page readings by vida so i know people have been getting hit up and sending dms again don't fall for the bullshit so let's get into this card let's see what the card has to say Ooh, a beautiful card. Ooh, okay. So the philosophical significance for this card, the power of love. What is meant for you will not pass you by. Release the angst, expectation, and vision you have for love. Because every time you have an expectation, you're always going to end up getting disappointed. Because no one has the same heart, mind, or thoughts as you. So you're going to expect them to treat you the same way when, not, when none of us are the same. So that's going to be a problem. No expectations, no disappointments. Let's get back to this. And fully accept yourself as a true vision of the love. You're deserving of joy because it will find you. Additional meanings for this card, love wins. Make yourself a beacon for love. And trust that what you want wants you and will find you. And for those of you 
who swear like, oh, you know, you know, it's so hard. It is fucking hard. I was married to somebody else for a long fucking time. I was with them for a while and we got married. It was a long time. I was around maybe a good 15 years, right? I was part of this person's life and I walked away because it was abusive, right? And I'm not going to get into all the types of whatever happened, but whatever happened, we got divorced and we had a child together. And I'm grateful for that experience because it taught me what I didn't want in my life. I needed to go through that. I needed to go through that chaos. And I thought for a really long time that I didn't deserve love because of what he told me. Now, not what I know that that was part of his story, but it's not part of my story. So my story is I started to love myself. I started to give myself what I was looking for in other people. And then I couldn't catch it. I couldn't see it because I kept expecting them to love me in a specific way. I kept expecting them to call me back by a certain time. I kept expecting them to jump through hoops like I jumped through hoops for them. But I kept giving my power away because I thought love was outside of me when it's always been inside of me. You have to check in with you. And you have to make you the most important thing in your life. Regardless if you have children or partner, parents, whatever the case is. I love my husband. I love, we have five children all together. We're a blended family. I love all five of our children, even though I didn't give birth to three of them. But when they're with me, they're my children. And I take care of them just like my own. But my love for them doesn't supersede the love for my own biological children. It doesn't supersede the love that I have for my husband. It doesn't supersede the love that I have for my mother, my clients, my cute immunity, my godchildren, my best friend, my animals. It doesn't supersede that because my love is so big that the love that I generate for myself overflows onto everybody else. I continue to put me first. I continue to love the shit out of myself first and it continues to benefit everyone who's connected to me. So when love is what it is you're looking for, my question to you today is, are you giving it to yourself first? I hope I helped. I hope I put some things in perspective and I hope I made you feel better. I would love to work with you. I am of service. That's what I'm here for. But as always, please follow your intuition when working with any spiritual advisor. Even though that means you do not work with me. Your intuition will always guide you to who you should be working with. I have limited availability for the month of July because I will be traveling the end of this month for the retreat. And I have not opened up the calendar for August as of yet. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email at thealmightypineapple.com or readingsbyvita.com. Love y'all. Have a great day.